What's up everybody, we're back. I'm gonna talk about something that's fairly new, not many people are doing it. We're gonna talk about speaker profiles. And these speaker profiles are made with the same kind of technology that we get amp profiles with. For the profiles we're looking at today, we're gonna be using the Neuro Amp Modeler, but I predict this will spread out to all the other profiling platforms. And these speaker profiles are gonna be more accurate than an impulse response. Don't get me wrong, impulse responses are fine. They get the job done, all right? But I've never used an impulse response and been like, what a great impulse response. It's always been like, yeah, that'll work. A speaker profile like a NAM file is gonna be a much larger file. So you can click more data in the profiling process and you can have a lot more accurate representation to the original source. An impulse response will get you like 80% of the way there. These speaker profiles that we're gonna be looking at in this video, based on null testing, get you 99.6% of the way there. To the original source. So using these profiles is essentially identical to actually miking up the cab the way they did. This is the Quantum Speaker by Neutron Studios. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the profiles for the Celestian Greenback. I think the V30 is out now, but I don't have that one yet. We'll do a video on that when we get it. And if you wanna do a deep dive on the Quantum Speaker and all these profiles, I'll have a video in the description. I really just wanna show you guys this project, give you some sound samples and my opinions on everything. So I have the profiles loaded up in the Neural Amp Modeler. Here are all your different options right now. I think there's 27 different options overall. Two different different dynamic mics, two different condenser mics, you got a ribbon mic in there, you got the Neutron Sub, which I'll talk about later. Those are all different mic profiles at different parts of the speaker. They also have a few quick start options. And one cool thing they added, since we're using the profile line here in the Neuro Amp Modeler, the IR folder is empty now. They made some filters that can load into the IR slot. Those are basically just high pass and low pass EQs. Those do come in handy to tame some of the harshness that some of these profiles have. So it's a nice use of that slot that we're not using right now. So I have my amp profiler in this NAM and then the speaker profile in this NAM. We got an AC10 clean amp profile. First speaker profile that loads up is the condenser one cap edge. That's the Celestian Greenback. We're using the neck pickup on the cheap lion and here's what it sounds like. Let's just cycle through some of these speaker profiles now. This one is marked room. That one's more to blend with your close-up mics. So yeah, you can run a bunch of these at once if you wanted to. And the good thing about this whole pack is that all these mic profiles are in phase with each other. So you're not gonna have to worry about phase issues if you wanna layer up and use multiple speaker profiles, which is probably the best part about this. When I first checked these out, I thought they were a bit harsh, but then I remembered actually miking up a guitar cab sounds like this. When you're hearing just the raw mic feed, that's what this sounds like. It's been so long since I've mic'd up a cab that I've forgotten what that sounds like. But it all came back to me as I was playing these. Every live gig I would do, I would throw a 57 on a cab and then have to EQ it. And some of these are more harsh than others. Like anything that's right in the middle is gonna be harsher than something that's closer to the edge of the speaker. But this is a good example. We can bring in those filters now. So this is condenser to cap edge. <laughs> stick with the neck pickup there. I don't know why I changed it. So using this IR slot, let's load up a filter. So this one has shelves at 6K and 50 Hertz. Just turn it off for a second. Turn it on. Let's try another filter. This one 5K and 80 Hertz. Try one more. This one's the most aggressive. This is 4K and 100 Hertz. So if you use some of these and you think they're too harsh, you could definitely just load in one of the filters or you just throw an EQ after it and tame that harshness a little bit. But what I'm getting through all of these profiles is that live feel of miking up a guitar amp. The sounds, the feels, it's all there for me and I love it. So if you've only used IRs and you've never miked up a guitar amp, there might be a little shock or a learning curve there, but this is reality. It's something new. If you've never miked up a guitar amp, you should try it out and see what it sounds like and you'll understand. Let's try these dynamic mics out. Actually, I'm gonna switch to a crunchier amp. This is a mid-game amp. Don't ask me why I set things up like this. I have regrets. So this is a low gain Jet City amp on the Crunch channel going into the Dynamic One cap speaker profile of this Celestian Greenback. Still on the, uh, let's go bridge pickup. 
try another one. So ribbon mic. I like that one. That one's super warm. That one's the room mic. So I think that's all the discrete mic profiles we've been through. The idea for these is to be as accurate as possible to the original source, a mic'd up Celestian Greenback, various spots, various mics, so you can blend them together to your heart's content. They're all gonna be in phase, they all sound great. Some of them I wouldn't use on their own, some of them are really for blending, especially like the room mics and stuff, but that's part of it. This is where your mixing creativity can come out and you don't have to sit there and mic up a real cab, which is always a plus. <laughs> So let's try mixing a couple together. We're gonna mix a harsh and a warm one together. So let's find a dynamic. The dynamic too is a bit brighter. So let's go to the dynamic one. I like the dynamic one better. Let's go dynamic one cap. So now I'm gonna bring in, our desktop's gonna get crowded here. So I'm going to unmute this channel. Let's bring in this one. So for this one, I'm going to use a ribbon mic. Let's find a good, let's go ribbon one. I'm going to mute the, mute the dynamic mic. Here's the ribbon mic. Now I'm going to bring back the dynamic mic and then blend in the ribbon mic. So here's the dynamic mic by itself. I'm going to blend it in. So you can see by mixing these profiles together, you get way more depth, There's a lot more creativity here, and they're really true to the original sources. This is just a good representation of a well mic'd up cab by a recording engineer who's been making albums since the 90s. That's what you're getting in this pack. You're getting the experience as well as the equipment, as well as the accuracy. So one thing I do want to point out, I'm going to get rid of the ribbon mic. The gain knob on the speaker profile now acts as how hard you are going to push the speaker, or the input knob, I should say. So if you want to represent hitting the speaker harder, you just turn the input up. And of course, I'm going to bring the output down. Go a little bit more. Let's go all the way. So if you really want to replicate pushing the speaker to the max, that's how you're going to do it in the Neural Amp Modeler with these speaker profiles. I'm going to put it back though. So one more thing I do want to talk about is the Quantum Sub, because that is a big part of it. Now, I believe this is a non-destructive way to add low end to your signal. It really shines on lead or single note stuff. I'll show you what it sounds like on its own. Still using the bridge pickup here. I'm going to turn the dynamic mic all the way down. This is just the Neutron Sub. <laughs> So 
this is intended to blend with your other signal in order to increase the low end of the signal without having to do some like weird EQ stuff. So I'm gonna blend it in here. So that's just one example of the Neutron Sub. It can be used however you want it. It's used to blend in. Be creative with it. Let's go ahead and get a high gain tone in here. Here's a 5152 profile. Let me show you just some of the other speaker profiles because that one's a bit harsh. Go dynamic, go cap edge. Another thing I wanted to show you is you don't have to use an amp profile to mix with these speaker profiles. You could also use any plugin you want and turn off the cab set. So this is the Tangi by Audio Singularity. So can you guess what it's modeled after? Right here I just have the IR turned off. I'm just using the, uh, the amp part of it going into the quantum speaker. So I'm just using the amp part going into the quantum speaker over here. <laughs> to the other orange amp here. So you could have the best of both worlds here, if you wanted to. You want a gain knob that actually affects the gain? Use an amp sim, but you can pair it with a speaker profile. Works however you want. God, that sounds so good. There's a lot more. Definitely go check it out for yourself. I have a link to the deep dive video in the description and links to the quantum speaker so you can check it out for yourself. In the end, use what you want. And I think that's all I got. So if you guys have any questions or feedback for me, please leave a comment. I hope you go check these out for yourselves. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.